Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading for the 27th until the 31st of January 2019. Check your moon, Venus and rising if the messages don't resonate or if you'd like more insight and giving away the angel tarot cards this month. So if you'd like to be a part of the giveaway, just leave a comment. By doing so, you've entered. What's going on with Cancer? Last week of January 2019. Love messages for Cancer. Judgment. Okay, we have a lesson here. So, the hermit. Some of you are in hermit mode, avoiding someone, maybe to, you know, not get hurt. The Knight of Swords is how you feel, so definitely protecting yourself, feeling, you know, defensive. The Queen of Pentacles is how you're seeing them, so someone is like nurturing towards you could be for some of you maybe someone you're interested you're not interested in for some of you it could be your partner if they you know have taurus virgo capricorn in their chart their feelings the page of swords so they are also defending themselves against you um they are hanging around though they're not leaving the relationship they're still available to you but they they're afraid. <laughs> They're protecting themselves from you as well. They're seeing you as the Nine of Swords. Maybe you lash out at them and they're seeing you, you know, as a threat to them. You know, they feel like some of you, this person may feel like you're mad at them. Like they're in trouble in a way. There's definitely judgment going on for some of you. Some of you are really mad at someone. The relationship, the Four of, of Cups. So it may not even be satisfying you anymore, or them, or both of you, but the feelings, I guess, are still there. You're both really protecting yourselves, though. And then the King of Swords as your outcome. This really forceful energy of, you know, leaving, I don't know. Why is a hermit here? For cancer. could be dealing with someone who has Scorpio in their chart yeah things were not things are not you know you, you're not satisfied anymore things are not happy and joyful as they used to be with this person or with an ex the knight of swords knight of wands So you may, yeah, you may definitely have gotten angry on them, lashed out at them, maybe even given an ultimatum or, you know, just the Queen of Wands in reverse, very aggressive. And then the Knight of Swords, you know, very aggressive energy towards this person. So the Queen of Pentacles. You're seeing them as, you know, some of you have seen them as not going anywhere. Seen them as not wanting to leave. They may be coming back to you. You may feel, you may know that they feel connected to the point where they don't want to leave. But they are on the defense. They are afraid of you right now. The hanged man. There's a hanged man here. They want to save the relationship, the connection. They're hanging around even though the connection and the stability of the relationship is kind of fading. 
and they're kind of holding on to it. Page of Swords. See, they do still have love for you, the Knight of Cups. But they feel stuck, like they feel like they have no choice but to defend themselves from you, even though they want to give you their love. They may feel like they have to defend themselves from you, so it's like a stuck feeling for them where they want to they want to fix the relationship but they're afraid to say anything with a nine of swords yep this person is afraid because here's a, the knight of, of wands in reverse so even more aggression they're seeing you as aggressive, like you, you know, just aggressive, like, but they want to work on the partnership. They feel like they can handle it. It could be vice versa, though. It could be you seeing them as aggressive, you defending yourself. The Four of Cups. There's the Four of Cups here. Yeah, some of you feel like it's over. You feel like you feel drained. You know, some of you feel like this connection is over. Or if you have an ex coming back to you, trying to come back to you, you may feel like you don't want them back. Okay, why is the King of Swords here in the outcome? Cancer. King of Swords. Some of you are. Uh, Ending the relationship. Cutting off communication. Cutting them off. And this could be an X for some of you. Leaving them out in the cold. Some of you may miss them though. With the Six of, Wad of w Cups and the, the Eight of Wands. The communication may, you may cut off communication. You may cut them off, but then you may miss them. Because the Six of Cups is here along with the Five of Pentacles in reverse coming out of the cold so while some of you may leave you may take them back you may miss them uh, later on but for some of you it could be that you're you know completely shut in the door on an x okay trust the situation is calling for you to have faith messages for cancer Healing family issues, reconciliation. See, some of you may cut them off and take them back not long after. Okay, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. You may be really attracted to them. If if you if it's vice versa and you're waiting for someone to come back around, they definitely will with reconciliation. If they've cut you off and cut off communication, they are gonna miss you with the Six of Cups and Reconciliation. Messages for Cancer. Five of Water. Things not turning out the way you'd hoped. Not seeing the positive in a situation. Crying over spilt milk. Five of air, the universe, sorry, not the universe, unwise choice, learn what you can from this situation, review everyone's motives. Okay, ace of air, brilliant new ideas and inspiration, seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. Life experience, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that needs to change. Time to spread your wings. Okay. So let's see. 
weiß for cancer. Let go. Some of you are just letting go of something, but it may come back. Or you may want it back in the end. This person, you may want them back in the end. Not the right time. So maybe, maybe this is time for you to let go because it's not the right time for you to have this relationship. And it will come back eventually, you know, letting it go. If it comes back, then you know that it's for real. Listen to your intuition and take action. So yeah, you may need to let go and listen to your intuition because there's a lesson here with judgment. You do have, you know, learn what you can from this situation. So this is a learning period, the separation, the this drama, you know, having to defend yourselves, being angry, being aggressive, you know, something you need to learn here, healing family issues, you know, before you reconcile. So you may reconcile with this person later on. Things may, you know, once you calm down, um, learn, this lesson that you're supposed to learn, some of you, then it will be time, it could be time for you to have this relationship, this person may come back around to you. But for right now, it needs, there's something that's not balanced, that needs to be balanced, and it's gonna take some separation if, you ha if you're not separated already. So if you're separated now, now you know why it's happened, now you know what you need to learn, or that you need to learn something in order for this relationship to continue. But yeah, you have to trust the universe or trust you know, your intuition that things are gonna work out because there's definitely something you need to learn here. It's the end of a, of a cycle. So for some of you, it could be the end of a cycle with your ex who comes back and forth and you may be moving to a new relationship, but for some of you, it's a break that you're taking from the person that you're with, maybe to work on your own um, personal issues so that you can have a more healthy relationship with this person. But for right now, you're cutting it off, but you will miss them. You will take them out of the cold, a lot of you. Not all of you, but a lot of you may miss this person after letting them go, okay? So, Cancer, this is your reading for the 27th until the 31st of January. Check your moon, Venus, and rising if the messages don't resonate or if you'd like more insight. Also, leave a comment if you'd like to be a part of the giveaway for the Angel Tarot cards. Picking the winner very soon, the end of January. So, you know, by commenting, you've entered the competition. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching.